green and it was really bad to the Yeah, it's just sometimes it cuts it out like that. Yeah. Okay. There's two rounds left there. Yeah. Might be done by now, it should be done so by now. So we can do round seven. And this round is fruit and veg. So if you eat a lot of fruit and veg, you might know the answers. <laughs> no, I don't think that will help. <laughs> I've just been told that won't help. So if you don't eat a lot of fruit and veg, you still might know the answers. <laughs> so number one, what do Americans call a courgette? What do Americans call a courgette? Number two, which kitchen in a oh, which kitchen instrument used for slicing vegetables shares its name with a musical instrument? Though you can't play the kitchen be version. Really utensil, not instrument. Yeah. I'll probably talk to I did think about that one yeah, for kitchen instrument. I'm thinking, is it like a like a trumpet you play in the <laughs> kitchen or something? That should be kitchen utensil, really. not instrument. Yeah. So which kitchen utensil? used for slicing vegetables, shares its name with a musical instrument. Number three. Which fruit grows on palm trees? Which fruit grows on palm trees? Number four, which fruit juice is added to vodka to make a screwdriver cocktail? Which fruit juice is added to vodka to make a screwdriver cocktail? What vegetable is a Savoy? Number five, what vegetable is a Savoy? I just confirm YouTube is working again now, so. Number six, which fruit sauce is commonly eaten with roast pork? Which fruit sauce is commonly eaten with roast pork? Number seven, which vegetable has the Latin name Beta Vulgaris? Which, la which vegetable has, has the Latin name Beta Vulgaris? He's a bit weird about this sort of this vegetable. <laughs> Eats it really weirdly. Number eight. Cos and iceberg are varieties of what? Cos and iceberg are varieties of what? Number nine. What fruit has varieties called honeydew and cantaloupe? What fruit has varieties called honeydew and cantaloupe? Mm. And 
and number 10. Known as eggplant in the USA, by what name is it known in the UK? Known as eggplant in the USA, by what name is it known in the UK? And that's the vegetable. That's a vegetable. It's not an egg. It's a vegetable. A plant with some eggs on there. <laughs> so that is round seven, which is fruit and veg. Uh, let us know in the comments on YouTube and Facebook if you want any repeated. I'll just give everyone a minute just to get the answers written down. And then we can do our final round, which is music. check this next time we do this like get all the right headings okay we can move on we're going to move on to round eight which is music so number one who had a hit in who had a number one UK hit with Ice Ice Baby? Who had a number one UK hit with Ice Ice Baby? You know what other song the rift was taken from? You know the bit that goes do 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 do. It's under pressure, by the Yes, I know. I'm trying not to say it to give the ideas <laughs> away. Number two. Blue Reginald from. Kenneth Dwight is better known by what name? Reginald Kenneth Dwight is better known by what other name? And his real name, not other names that people might call him. <laughs> Stage name. His stage name. Number three. In which year did the Spice Girls release Wannabe? In which year did the Spice Girls release Wannabe? If you wanna be my lover, gotta get with my friends. Okay. I never understood that. No, it is a bit it's an ambiguous lyric, isn't it? I don't know what I'm getting with your friends. It probably just means you got to get on with my friends, yeah. not get off with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Question four. Which number one ABBA song features in the lyrics of Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody? Which number one ABBA song features in the lyrics of Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody? Number five. Will I Am is best known for performing with which group? Will I Am is best known for performing with which group? Or William, as uh, Miriam Mir Mir Margulies called him. So your name is William. anything careful with back right number six is that hanging on there who sang the theme tune to james bond's movie sky not james bond's movie the james bond movie skyfall <laughs> who rang to <laughs> start okay but you who yeah <laughs> who sang the theme tune to james to the james bond movie skyfall who sang the theme tune to the james bond movie skyfall
Number seven. Spandau Ballet featured which former East Enders actor in their lineup? Spandau Ballet featured which former East Enders actor in their lineup? But he was in East Enders after he was in Spandau Ballet. Question 8. Which 1977 hit by the Spanish group Bacara is the biggest selling single by a female group of all time? Which 1977 hit by the Spanish group Bacara is the biggest selling single by a female group of all time? Number nine. Which 1980s group featured Phil Collins recently announced they are going to reform? Oh, this year can't get bad enough. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really joking. I'm joking. Which 1980s group featuring Phil Collins recently announced they are going to reform? And question 10. Beyond Again is a tribute act to which famous pop group? Beyond Again is a fame as a tribute to act to which famous pop group? What a world famous pop group. That's probably why you were singing that Atomic Kid song. Hmm. <laughs> so they say you can make me hold a cold again, you probably say <laughs> you can make me be on again. <laughs> Okay, and that is our last set of questions. I'll just give a minute in case anyone like any of them repeated at all. Um, in the comments on Facebook or YouTube. Oh, fair enough, okay. And then we'll do the answers for round seven and eight. And then we'll just finish off. He's got another boring fact for us this week, as per usual. If you know Dad, he's always got something boring to say. And you have to go, OK, Chris. Yes, Chris. OK. OK. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just nod along and agree with what he's saying. Do the answers. We've got fruit and veg first. What do Americans call courgette? It is zucchini. Which kitchen utensil, not your kitchen instruments, um, used for slicing vegetables shares its name with a musical instrument? It's a mandolin. Which fruit grows on palm trees? It's dates. Didn't know that. Which fruit juice is added to vodka to make a screwdriver cocktail? It's orange juice. Which vegetable is a Savoy? It's a cabbage. So if you went to the hotel, is Hotel Savoy, mm. you'd be going to the Hotel Cabbage. Well, yes. <laughs> In theory, yeah. Anyone, next time, if you ever get to go there by, you know, if we ever get to go there by some miracle of chance, <laughs> I'm going to tell people I'm going to the Hotel Cabbage. <laughs> Which fruit sauce is commonly eaten with roast pork? It's apple. Which vegetable has a Latin name, beta vulgaris? It's beetroot. Which someone, doesn't they have it on toast with cheese on? Yeah, with gravy as well. Yeah, beetroot with gravy. Ugh. No. <laughs> Just no. He, d he does eat beetroot like really weirdly, Dad does. Anything with beetroot on. Cos and iceberg are varieties of what? It's lettuce. What fruit has varieties called honeydew and cantaloupe? It's melon. And known as eggplant in the USA, by what name is it known in the UK? It's the aubergine. And round eight, which is music. 
Who had a number one hit with ice in the UK with the Ice Ice Baby? It was Vanilla Ice. Number two, Reginald Kenneth Dwight is better known by what name is Elton John. In which year did the Spice Girls release Wannabe? It was 1996. Question four, which number one ABBA song features in the lyrics of Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody? It was Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia, let me go. Thank you. Number five, Will I Am is best known for performing with which group? It's Black Eyed Peas. Who sang the theme tune to the James Bond movie Skyfall? It was Adele. Spandau Ballet featured which former East Enders actor in their lineup? It was Martin Kemp. Which 1977 hit by the Spanish group Bacara is the biggest selling single by a female group of all time? It's Yes Sir, I Can Boogie. Yes Sir, I Can Boogie, but I need a certain song. Which 1980s group featured Phil Collins, featuring Phil Collins, recently announced they're going to reform its Genesis? And Beyond Again is a tribute act to which famous pop group? It's ABBA. So that is our um, 80 questions. <laughs> I had to think then. Um, just before we all go, as per usual, we will just finish off on a... Um, when he's ready. I'll give you over to him so you can see him. Hang on. Oh, have I not put the wrong one on? Oh, something's gone wrong now. Oh, it's because I put it on that, that's why. Right, there we go. Okay. Yep. Off you go. Right, good evening everyone. This is the one you've been waiting for all evening. It really isn't. One of my boring <laughs> facts. And the boring facts this evening is the saying, Smart Alec, don't be as smart as Alex. That's another saying. So what's the meaning of this? Um, someone who thinks they're pretty clever is always given like to be a smart aleck. <laughs> Professor Gerald Colin in the 1985 study showed that a newspaper article that Alex Who was a real person where the nickname come from. Alex was a pimp and a thief. Uh, and that was in New York City in the 1840s. Alex robbed Melinda's customers while she dis uh, distracted them. Distracted them, she used to go down dark alleys, put the arms round the gentleman, and then uh, pick their pockets. And Alex used to Take, her out, uh, take the stolen goods from her hands and ran off. Also, she led uh, customers to the bedroom and she made them take their clothes off and she made them put them on the chair where there was a secret panel where Alex um, picked their pockets and robbed them. Eventually, used to knock on the door, she said, oh yes, Alex is back, and used to run off through the window, leaving the clothes and steal like that. But she, they, he tried to bribe, well he did bribe two policemen to try and cover the, the, um, the crimes up. But unfortunately, due to um, financial trouble, that he uh, never sort of um, paid them what they'd been owed. So anyway, eventually, Alex went to prison with Melinda, who was involved in the crimes. Alex escaped from prison with the help of his brother, and the police called him a smart Alec. So that's where the name came from. The smart Alec was a Alex who's he was a thief and a pimp, and um, sent to prison, got away, and uh, that's where the police come from. 
So his first knowings of um, the saying was uh, mentioned in print in the newspaper in the 1865. So that term is still used today, a smart aleck, or um, the other one is don't be a smart aleck. In other words, don't be like him. That's my boring fact of the week. I hope you enjoyed it. Another boring fact will be coming next week or the week after. I'm not too sure yet. But I'm sure you'll be very interested and I hope I haven't bored you too much. So from me, good night to you all and keep safe. Okay, thank you very much. I'm just going to just finish off. Turn it back. Um, thank you everyone for joining us tonight. Apologies for all the technical issues we had. Um, the last quiz we did actually went pretty well and we didn't really have anything but tonight I think it's our internet has been quite dodgy. Um, we should be doing, hopefully we're going to do another quiz um, on the 24th of June. Um, like I say, we're fortunate we haven't got any update yet on the Village Hall. we hoping that maybe we might possibly be able to, hopefully we'll be open by September but we don't know yet. But we will keep everyone updated. Um, we're still decorating at the moment, so it'll look nice when everyone can uh, come back and see it. Yeah, so hopefully we're going to have another quiz on the 24th of June, so hopefully to see you there. Hopefully with the everything spelt right and all the title headings being right. <laughs> and we'll have another boring fact of the week. i just like to point out, he's wrote a whole sheet, look. <laughs> with all this down, so he knew what to say, so that was quite some commitment. Um, but have a good week, and we will see you next time. Oh, just